I'm paragliding there. Oh, I'm doing um, zip lining. I was at a beach. We sent you to go and tell a story about sports fans out there. You're supposed to connect with the sports fan. You're doing shit for yourself. Diving? You, yeah, it's funny. It's nice. Nice for you, but not for us. I went to Kota Kinabalu. It's not funny, Andy. We sent you to tell a story and that's what we're doing here. You may have all your fans, but it's not working for us. Where's the storytelling? Where, where are the fans? We didn't agree to this, did we? Just a few things I wanted to do. You wanted to do. This museum was good. It was where um You taking you taking the piss now, really. You went to a museum. Which museum? I hope it was a sports museum. Well obviously it's not. Just just stop Andy. Just get out of here, please. Just go. Just get out. Oh is it okay if I go um parachute? Get out. Now Am I disposable? Just your semi precious love charm. Cause it's so normal. I've been chasing you for too long Cause you're that song that's in my head And it's boring me to death Saying what I wanna hear Hey, welcome to Nokia Football Crazy it's Gonna be one of those shows today My name's Andy Penders Hey, my name is Jamie O I can say you're just near There's got to be Play. Right, next stop, Singapore. Hey guys, hey boss, how are you? They're all happy in Singapore. Uh, gonna stay with former Malaysia, Singapore player PJ Roberts and former football crazy guy as well. Right, so I'm staying at PJ's. But nice for you, right? I'm back in Singapore. It means that I need to go back into the office and work on some website design for Red Card TV. If my heart is your souvenir, then maybe I'll just fucking die in LA. And I'll be rich if I sell my soul down and hide in what they say. So bury me before I. This is, I have to say goodbye to Rennie, but. This, and by the way, Rick, thank you for looking after me. Oh, <laughs> sure. Uh, Rene hates it when I do this. Rene, right, get on cut to all the music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I'll put the link of the Airbnb below, yeah? Sure, thanks. Yeah. I've been a good uh, host. Very, yeah. very good guests. Other Airbnb hosts should definitely take you on board. There you go, son. There you go. Thanks. Recommendation. Right, first up, let's go and see former Singapore international John Wilkinson, who I think is sweating away somewhere here at Bisham Park. Right, check out, <laughs> John's just sent me a message. <laughs> Could the state me? Fucking shirt hanging off, carrying a fucking plastic bag around the park. <laughs> You're a fucking pain in the ass. That's not vlog worthy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not as sweaty as I thought you would be. You never studied it, did you? The art of vlogging. But no anchovies. No. What do you mean no? Who likes crispy anchovy? Me. When I shave my mohawk, I use John's razor. Clippers. Clippers, yeah. And what have you got? Oh, okay. So, so you... I've not. It's all, all this. It's grown since. Oh, I see. I mean, everywhere, Andy. Oh. I mean, it, it literally is like the 70s all over again. This is classic Ang Mo, isn't it? Give me, give, me, give me the Western breakfast. So, how's everything with Sassy? How's, how's he been doing with the vlogs and everything? Is he, is he on board? Yeah, he loves it. Exclusive Wilco on S League Return. Oh, are you recording that? That's my, um, that's my head, headline. No. We're not. What? What's my headline? There's no headline for you. What's the headline? This is just, this is a casual meetup. We're not, don't put me on camera today, please. I can deny I'm not making a return to the S League. Promise me, don't put that on there, please. No, I am. All the riches are the fame. All the people know my name. Yes, you said. Cause you're that song, it's in my head. 
How's Dawson? Good. What's your impression of Dawson? How does does he present? Dawson has a little bit of paper, just a little tiny little bit of paper there. Mm. So he's like, hello! Wow. It's me. (laughs) Welcome to Foxbot Central. What about Linton? Linton. Right, everybody. Welcome. 11 Sports Network. King on. King on. Right. Here we are then. PJ. Yeah. Oh, my. Penders. First of all, you've got to get matchsticks in your eyes because the eyes have got to pop out. You've got a boggle. You've got a boggle. Oh, you're more than welcome, Andy. It's nice to have you back in town for a while. Good luck with the comeback. Get your hands up off my neck because I'm starting to see red when you whisper. I'm rolling. I'm to How good were we on TV together? Hey? Pretty good. It's a special edition of Nokia Football Crazy Aerobics Oz Style. Something not quite as beautiful, but equally it's hot. PJ Robinson, shake I for a I loving it, loving it. Uh, let's catch yeah. up with PJ and find out what he's been up to. Mate, too, just been working. I was actually coaching this afternoon, the Australian International School under 18. We're going to pick the North London derby for this week's random predictor. Cool. So, PJ, take it away. Yes, Arsenal against Tottenham. The North London derby is going to be a cracking match. This is the Nokia football crazy telestream. <laughs> Boy, dude, what, what happened are you here? Doing? Look, it yeah. comes with a point for it. Look. The thing is, you can do it now. Actually, we can do it yeah, now. Move yeah, it, move it forward now. That guy there. PJ here has been trying to grow a mustache. But just how attractive is this? Very we sent out the work experience kids around the office <laughs> to ask the company's hottest girls what they thought of this. As you can see, Mr. Roberts is starting to sprout a bit of a mustache. At our school, of course, everyone thinks it looks ridiculous. But we're going to see what the adults have to say about it. Hi, Colette. What do you think of PJ Roberts' moustache? Well, to be honest, before PJ had a moustache, you know, he was just one of the guys, didn't really give him a second look. But now he has a moustache, and I think it makes him look so much more manly. So I'm meeting this guy called John, who's picking me up. He's booked my hotel. He's just a big Sarawak fan. They're pretty impressive, though. Those Crocs fans. So they're called Crocs. Why Crocs? Lots of crocodiles in Sarawak. And proboscis monkeys. It's amazing how much is not getting in. <laughs> Gun of the game. Yeah. Sarawak against JDT. JDT. That'll be a crack in the Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the stadium they play in now is the, uh, the slightly smaller stadium. When I was playing there, it was in the 60,000 seat stadium, which I think, they, I think they're renovating it at the moment, actually. Sweet. I'm not quite sure. I'm actually a bit scared because I'm... Is there violence? No. No, it was... I mean, the fans are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The uh, the atmosphere they create, they're very passionate. It's it's got a very different feel and flavour about it. Sarawak, and even Sarawak <coughs> for that matter. Get your hands above my neck Cos I'm starting to see red Right, back in the airport again. It's time to leave Singapore. Next stop is after an excellent AirAsia flight. We're in Kuching. Hi guys, how are you? Uh, that's because John Deho wrote in to me and said, come and watch Sarawak against JDT. So that's what we're doing.